Yo, welcome back YouTube. Welcome back to another video. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Cadillac Chronicles. Now, if you saw the last episode, you saw the whole, you saw the car tour of the new Cadillac that I got. A 1983 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Now, I'm not going to tell you anything else about that. Y'all go back to the other video and watch that. As a matter of fact, I'll leave it linked up somewhere up here. Go check that out if you want to know more about the, about the ride. Uh, but anyways, um, today we are mounting some we're gonna mount the wire wheels, the OG wire wheels, you know what I'm saying, on the Cadillac today. Because when I brought it over here, I brought it with the stocks on there because you can't you, you can't pull a car, you know what I'm saying, with wire wheels, you know what I'm saying? So I, I put the I put the original uh, factory wheels on it and I brought it over here. So now it's time to mount them back again. Now when you saw the video, you already saw it, I already had them on there. So this is after, or no, before, yeah, before. But anyways, that's what we're gonna be doing today. So you wanna see all that? Make sure you stay tuned and watch to the end of the video so you can see all the good stuff and all the details and how the process on how to mount, properly mount your wire wheels, knockoffs on your ride. All right, so I'll see you guys after the intro. Living on borrowed time, so I gotta keep it moving. If it don't make sense, then I gotta keep it moving. She ain't helping me build, then I gotta keep it moving. Miss me with the excuses, so I gotta keep it moving. Currency is the motive, so I gotta keep it moving. You don't work, you don't need, so I gotta keep it moving. Goals to achieve, so I gotta keep it moving. There's them and then there's me, so I gotta keep it moving. Born broke, so the mentality's always been there. Different bloodlines, so you know what's never been fair. Yeah. And as you can see, we're rolling on stocks. You know what I'm saying? Rolling on stocks. You know what I'm saying? We want to take them off so we can make this car look right. Now it's very important. You're gonna need, okay, lead hammer. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna need jack stands, jack stands, and a jack. You know, a heavy duty jack, preferably. You know what I'm saying? For safety. Make sure you got all that. And you're gonna need, and you're gonna need a four way. You know what I'm saying? You can use an impact if you want. I preferably prefer this just so I don't over tighten and all that good stuff. That's just me personally. Use your best judgment, whatever you prefer. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna use a four way. Now these are the ones we're gonna mount today. These are OG wire wheels. You know what I'm saying? They have, they, have, they don't have a lot of mileage on them. And you know, we've got the center caps here. You know, with the Cadillac emblem in the, in the middle. You know what I'm saying? So. We're gonna mount these. I'm gonna show y'all how to do them properly. Now, these are already labeled, as you can see, left side, right side, okay? Now, the left side's always gonna be white, all right? And the right side's always gonna be red, okay? So make sure y'all do that so everything goes smoothly, okay? So, left, right, driver, passenger, okay? Always remember that. And we cannot forget the spacers, okay? Very important, these go on the front. Now, I this is my first set of wire wheels, you know what I'm saying? Oh, forgive the hair, you know what I'm saying? But this is my first set of wire wheels, but I've been around this my whole life. I double check with my people, you know what I'm saying? My pops and all them. So, I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing. Anyways, let's get to it, let's go ahead and mount these up. But there's a, there's one more important thing you need, to, you need to know before we even get going to that, so let me show y'all. Make sure your lug nuts are open-ended. You know what I'm saying? Make sure they're not closed. Okay? Simple ones, make sure you have those. Those are very important. Okay? Now, it's very important. Okay? Make sure your emergency brake is on. All right? Now, it's time to jack up the car. I personally like to start from the middle and try to knock out both, you know, sides at one time. You can't go from the front to the back and all that good stuff. It really depends on you. You could even do it from the front to the back, like, you know, lift the cart from the front or the back, but I like to do the sides. Just so I can knock out one side and then, you know, work my way on the other side. And now we'll proceed to taking off the lug nuts. Now, if it looks like I'm going fast, it's because I am, but I did some of that video editing magic and it went a little bit fast and speeded it up. So, we'll do start with the front, then move our way to the back, get everything loosened up.
Now, time to take it off. See how easy that was? Cake. Now, I like to put the tires underneath the car. Whatever I take, whatever tires I take off, I like to put them underneath the car as a precautionary measure just in case those jack stands decide to give out. I have something there from preventing the car from hitting the floor and for possibly, you know, hurting me if I'm happen to be underneath it or my leg or anything like that. I got some kind of protection. So, I always like to do that. Put your spares underneath the car just as a precautionary measure. Now, I'm gonna put these bad boys on. We gotta take them off. Now, you're gonna, the reason I say use these open ended ones is because you're gonna put these uh, the pointy part in. So that way it gives it that much more, you know, secureness when you tighten these up. Because, you know, it fits perfectly into those holes. Which would not work if you had them the other way around. So, that's the reason why we want to use the open-ended lug nuts. Now another thing I recommend when you're doing uh, you know a job like this, get yourself somebody to help you out, a buddy or your spouse or whatever to be inside the car to press the brakes just in case you have an issue like this one right here. Now you're gonna want to put this spacer on the front one, okay? Now something I must mm, I must stress is put some grease on the inside of these. That way they don't lock up on you or anything like that. You know what I mean? It's, it's always always good to have them. You know what I'm saying? So grease them up, and then you're gonna hit, proceed with your lead hammer and go ahead and start tightening these up. Don't worry about hitting too hard because that's what these lead hammers are for. They're not gonna break them. They're not gonna scratch them or anything like that. That's what they're built for. So give them a good whack. Make sure they're real nice on there and tight and you know just proceed doing the same step to all four of them now make sure they're snug you know with your with your hands and get to it as you can see we already got them on let's go ahead and take these tires off and continue the process and lowering this bad boy on and proceeding on to the other side All right, we got one side on. Let's go ahead and get the other side done, and we'll get a complete look. Now, we got them all on after you get them all real nice and snug. You know what I mean? We're gonna do, you can see the arrow tells you which way you gotta, you know, tighten, which one's not. So, 
once you get them on just to get them a good another good couple hits you know yeah just to go good and like I said a good solid hits to make sure that they're nice and snug and then drive them around and do the same thing and you should be good to go all right well that was it for today's vlog on how to install your wire wheels your knockoffs your low rider your spokes all that that's how you do it so if y'all like this video y'all found it informative and all that good stuff make sure y'all like that video comment down below and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when I drop new content, whether it be low rider content, you know, the, the Cadillacs, the food, the music, all that stuff. Make sure you subscribe, all right? And I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Cadillac Chronicles.